Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Delta Force not launching. First method would be to close all background applications on Task Manager like MSI Afterburner, Riva Turner and many many uh, other big applications. For example, I don't use Xbox now, you want to go ahead and end the task for such applications. The second method would be to check for updates on your Windows operating system and also you want to update your drivers completely. So. I would uh, update them here on NVIDIA. As you can see, there's update available and you can go ahead and download it. If you use, for example, AMD drivers, you're going to write down on search uh, latest AMD drivers and you're going to download them the same uh, for NVIDIA drivers too. You're going to do a fresh install. Now, if everything is up to date, you want to go on search and write down services. On services, you want to find um, anti-cheat expert service double click on it and you want to start it you also want to make sure that it is on manual now if that still didn't fix the problem another thing to try out is to open up steam go on steam at the top here on settings here on settings you want to go to downloads and on downloads you want to clear download catch clear it after you've done that you want to restart your pc once you restarted your PC, you want to click on uh, Delta Force, go to Properties, Installed Files, and the Verify Integrity of the Game Files. After you have verified the integrity of the game files, you don't want to launch the game yet. You want to open up your virus and threat protection. If you're using something different than Windows threat uh, protection, you want to open it and go to Settings and disable it for a little while. Uh, now, once you will disable real-time protection, you want to open up and click play on Delta Force. Once the Delta Force will launch, you want to uh, turn on virus and threat protection again. Now, the other method would be, and this only works if you have multiple storage devices, so switching from HDD to SSD, for example. So first of all, once you are here on installed files and properties, you want to create a backup game files. Once you've done that, you want to move the install folders to a different drive. So for example, I can uh, move it to my local drive C instead of being uh, instead of the game being on my external hard drive. Now, once you've done that and you, once you will launch the game, the game will update and patch and it should uh, fix the problem. If the problem is still not fixed, you want to um, go ahead and uninstall anti-cheat expert. So in order to find it, you're going to go here on properties, install files, browse. Uh, then you're going to go to game, Delta Force, binaries, Win64, and you will see an uh, anti-cheat expert. And here you will find a setup. You want to go ahead and uninstall it and then reinstall it again. Now, if that still didn't fix the problem, you want to also make sure that the game is running on dedicated graphics card. So you want to go to graphics settings. I click on advanced settings you want to make sure that hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is on and here you want to find your game if it's not there you want to go ahead and add it so you're going to click add desktop app so for me it would be on steam games steam apps common then delta force game delta force again binaries win64 and here is the file you want to go ahead and add it once it will be added, you want to uh, make sure that it is set on high performance GPU. Another thing to try out is to install Visual C++ and see if the problem was fixed or not. Uh, if the problem was not fixed, you also want to go on general here settings and disable uh, Steam overlay. And also you want to do the same on Discord if you're using Discord. Another thing to try out is to free up some space on your SSD card. Oh, basically where your game is so you want to delete any game which you are not playing for example so for example I don't play anymore Monster Hunter Wilds you want to go ahead and just delete it and of course uninstall it it will free up some, some space and after verifying game files um, it should work now the last thing to try out is delete all the files from Steam libraries so you want to go to Steam app, Steam games Steam apps or Steam library, it depends where your game is. Then you want to go to shader catch and you want to find the last uh, folder, which ends with 950, open it. And you want to delete all of these files from this folder. After you've done that, you want to uh, run 
open run, then you want to write down app with.cpl, click OK. After it will open it, uh, you want to click turn on Windows features on or off. And then this will pop up and you want to find legacy components and you want to um, check mark it and click OK. And after that, you want to restart your PC. And on Steam, on Steam, you want to verify the integrity of the game files right there and your problem should be fixed. If this video was helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.